Hola a todos, welcome back to European Spanish. In today's video we are going to talk about the article, definite and indefinite articles and the way we use them in Spanish. If you are interested, consider subscribing and keep watching. So, the article is that word that goes before the noun. In English that would be de or a an. We are going to see the definite and indefinite articles in Spanish first and then we'll focus on the different uses that we have. The definite article in English is de, but in Spanish we have four different articles depending on the gender and the number. So, we have masculine, feminine, singular and plural. El, la, los, las. Something you need to have in mind is that when we have a preposition de, which means of, followed by the definite article el, instead of saying de el, we put them together and is del. The infinitive articles in English are a, an, but in Spanish we have four again depending on the gender and number. So we have again masculine, feminine, singular and plural and they are un, una, unos, unas. The uses of the definite article. Number one, we use them to talk about a specific person or thing. For example, el perro es grande. The dog is big. Number two, we use them to talk about a noun in a general sense. For example, la libertad es importante. Freedom is important. And number three is when we speak or write about someone with a title. For example, señor o señora, doctor o doctora, profesor o profesora. But be careful here, we don't use them when we are talking to them. Mr. García talks a lot. You will say, el señor García habla mucho. But if you are talking to him, you will say, señor García, usted habla mucho. Mr. García, you talk a lot. Uses of the infinitive articles. Number one, to talk about something or someone without specifying, just like in English. For example, a dog came would be un perro vino. Number two, we use them when the profession, nationality or religion is modified by an adjective. If not, we don't use them. For example, Juan es un gran profesor. Juan is a great teacher. But if we want to say Juan is a teacher, we would say Juan es maestro. If we have a feminine noun beginning with the a sound in a stressed syllable, instead of using una, we will use un. For example, Ada, which means fairy, it's a feminine noun starting with a na sound in a stressed syllable. So instead of saying una ada, we will say un ada. Same will happen with the definite article. Instead of saying la ada, we will say el ada but the adjective following that noun will be in feminine singular. For example, el hada es bonita. El hada es bonita. The fairy is beautiful. Right, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoy it. And if you have any doubts, please comment down below. I'll see you in the next video. Hasta pronto.